Hey you guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we'll be working on a treasure hunt card, which is perfect for a pirate themed birthday party. Now, if you are planning one, this invite card is a must-have in my opinion. To get started, I'm going to use this piece of paper which I've torn from an old book. It approximately measures about three and a half by about four and a quarter, I want to say. So I'm going to just distress it using a brown ink pad right here i'm using distress ink in the shade tea dye as well as vintage photo but just use a brown ink because that will work you don't have to go out and buy supplies for this that was the main intention of this whole video you know i didn't want to use anything special like stamp or a particular ink pad use what you have and you will do great and next i'm going to draw some certain elements related to your treasure hunt card if you have seen one on an like not a real one of course but if you have seen an image you usually have these kind of elements like mountains water body the treasure the treasure itself which is marked by the cross mark as well as the danger symbol marked by the skulls and bones so i'm going to create it i'm just going to draw it on a regular piece of paper and i'm going to color it in and cut it out as you can see i'm just using my uh, regular watercolor pencils you can use regular uh, color pencils or even acrylic paint use what you have you don't have to worry about it also this shouldn't be perfect because treasure maps aren't perfect they're all hidden and looking dirty and all wrinkled up and anywho I'm going to stick down all these elements using Mod Podge also you can see that I was actually having my dinner I created this um, card in the night and I'm also doing this voiceover in the night that's why I'm trying to talk in a really low tone and my dinner was actually apple as well as tomatoes because recently I have observed that I have started to look like a bag of potatoes and I've realized that just the green tea is not gonna help you know I really do need to diet as well as exercise that's what I'm trying to do I don't know how long I'm gonna stick with this regime but we'll see we'll try You can place the elements however you want you don't have to follow the exact way I'm doing just make sure you know how you want it before committing to the glue next I'm going to draw a few triangles onto the copy paper and I'm going to cut it out and stick it down this will represent a cluster of mountains and this finishes the major part of the project wasn't it easy because you can even do this with kids to get them involved in something creative I think it's such a fun project and who knows they can make their own party invite cards right that's so much fun and I'm going to use a pencil right here to map the route to reach the treasure chest now if you are making this as a kids project I would suggest you to go and mark along the dotted lines using just a black marker but if you are doing this as an adult I would suggest you to go ahead and sew along the dotted lines that's what I did now this thing is really difficult for me because this was my first time sewing and I kept poking myself so many times I just couldn't get a hang of it somehow I you know it was difficult but I ended up completing it but if you are into handmade embroidery or what is it called hand embroidery hats off to you because that thing requires so much skill and patience and in my opinion you are a true artist hats off to you all respect If you do use this needle and thread method make sure you stick down that uh, ends so that it doesn't come out also I would suggest that you mark along the route using a black marker as well in case the thread comes off you can still be safe you know you're playing it safe and the route is still there it's not completely like you know the car looks put together even if the thread comes off and I'm going to mat it on to a black cardstock to give a frame as usual I love doing this and here you have two options either you 
mounted like this leaving a space at the bottom as well as the right end to stamp you are invited or something whatever you want or else go and stick it down right at the center now that is what I want to do and that is what I prefer but of course you do you I'm using a piece of charm I don't even know what it represents I'm going to tie it using Baker's twine and go around the card twice and tie a knot a simple knot and if you don't have this charm what you can do is use a charm from your broken necklace or um, say your bracelet an old bracelet anything will do or if you don't have any charms at all just use a button even that will look really nice it gives some kind of interest and that's it for the card today I really hope you enjoy watching this fun party invite card it I'm telling you this will be such a hit if you are looking for a birthday invite card especially if you're looking at a pirate themed one so I hope you enjoyed watching this give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already take care have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you in my next one.